This is the birthday blog. We are usually the brothers and I, but I am Cass and I uh, by myself this week. Happy birthday to April the 30th. We mark art based upon birthdays round three. These are events for April 30th, starting with in the world figure category, this train engineer sacrificed his life to save the lives of hundreds by slowing down the train that it was about to collide with another train on the track. If you don't get the reference, that is from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Bands that have made songs about him include Pete Seeger, The Grateful Dead, Johnny Cash, Chris Christopherson, Motorhead, and ACDC. This boxer, Muhammad Ali, the Poet of the Ring, was stripped of his title on this day, April 30th, for not doing what? It's one of those 1960s examples of principled behavior. Imagine that, principled behavior. The fall and evacuation of Saigon happened on this day. Uh, this famous picture here is of a helicopter on the roof of the CIA station in Saigon. This event would signal the end of the war in what country and the eventual unification uh, of that country. And here are the answers. This is Casey Jones. Muhammad Ali was a conscientious objector, and in 1967, he resisted the draft, and he had his title stripped for it. He resisted the draft to not participate in a war in the next question. Vietnam, actually technically South Vietnam. It's sort of a trick answer, but, uh, well, if you say Vietnam, you're correct. And now on to round four, where the questions are a little harder. In the entertainment category, this actress's character came out of the closet on her show on this day. This basically coincided with the now very big daytime talk show host coming out of the closet. You know, it's, it's weird thinking about like how this was a big deal back then and how ridiculous this still is. That, like, like how long has Clay Aiken come out? I mean, fuck, man. That guy is so gay. How long did it take for him to admit the obvious? I, I, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even keep up with that But I obviously do because I mentioned his name. Because I'm a hypocrite. Also in the 90s, this number one ranked women's tennis player was stabbed in the back during a tournament in Germany. She was attacked by a crazy fan who didn't want her to compete against Steffi Graf. So there's a little bit of a clue. You know it's at least not Steffi Graf. And in 1803, the United States purchased this huge swath of land from France for $15 million. France was a little occupied at the time and needed some money. Uh, because of the whole Napoleonic Wars and everything. And so we pay them a bunch of money for a bunch of land to help finance their war. So in a way, that kind of made us the de facto ally of Napoleon. The United States was a de facto ally of Napoleon. Huh? Fucked up history there, right? Yeah. Well, let's see the answers. This is Ellen DeGeneres, of course. I just realized the other day that without Oprah being on TV normally all the time now, on regular network, that means that Ellen DeGeneres, she is the new Oprah. It's, it's not anyone else. It's Ellen DeGeneres. She rules daytime. And this tennis player that was stabbed in the back by a crazy fan is Monica Seles. And this is known as the Louisiana Purchase. That's an answer there who, for all you kids who got it right, who have taken uh, sixth grade American history. Well, everyone, thank you for watching. This has been the birthday blog for April the 30th. Uh, my name is Cassania, and this is my cat, Snowball. The, our, the pet Anaya. <laughs> uh, please subscribe. I'm so lonely. So lonely, cat. So lonely, so lonely, I have a little cat that I talk to, I make films on YouTube that no one watches.